everlasting words from heaven. The Word of God says in Luke, the second chapter and the 13th verse, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. These are the words of Jesus Christ unto his disciples. He was letting them know that one day I may leave you, but be assured of this one thing. The things that I have shared with you, they will in no wise pass away until they have accomplished that which they were sent out to do. Dearly beloved, words have power. And we have to recognize as believers that when we speak words, those words have power and authority in the earth. The Word of God says that. In the beginning, God said, let there be. And things began to take place because God spoke it into being. Dearly beloved, you can use words to literally destroy the lives of your own children or destroy the lives of ones you call your spouse or others that are in your life. You literally can use words because they are very destructive. And as Jesus Christ was saying here, the words that I have given you, those words will never pass away. But we know the words that he spoke. He spoke of his heavenly father. He spoke of the heavenly soon to come kingdom. And he wanted them to stand upon those words, to acknowledge those words. And even as the disciples went out after his crucifixion, they spread the word throughout their entire world. Because those words that Jesus spoke, they knew would never die. But they had power and authority in them. So dearly beloved, when you speak to your children or you speak to others, make sure that you use words that will lift up, words that will give the, uh, uh, the individual, the, all the hearers of your word, strength and confidence and, uh, and understanding. So that way they have a understanding of God's word, not words of condemnation, words of rejection, but words that will lift up and not deceptive words, beloved, that will lead people as many do today on a primrose path to eternal darkness and separation from the Heavenly Father, but words that brings life. For there is power of life and death and it's right there in the tongue. Dearly beloved, speak the words of Christ today and your words will not pass away either. Be a blessing today.